What is good guys, it's Glum, and today I'm gonna be making the most beautiful plug and beat you've ever heard. Let's get right to it. Now with these beats, the melodies are always the most important thing. Like if the melody isn't good, the whole beat sucks. So I like to start off with my chords. And for these chords, I like getting some smooth roads. I really like Xenology for this type of sound. So I got this FM EP4 from Xenology, and I just tried to lay down some chill, jazzy chords to set the vibe. Really kept it mad simple, just repeated the same four bars. So after I get the base of the chords down, I like to like hum along and see if I can figure out a counter melody in my head. And I came up with this little like do, 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 do. So I pulled up this nylon guitar from Xenology and I just laid down exactly what I was singing in my head. From there, we could just keep adding stuff, keep adding to the vibe. And I got this little D50 Fantasia sound, you know? I think I'll put this like here or here. And sometimes at the end of my counter melodies, I like to have them lead back into the beginning, you know? These three notes worked well together. It just makes it sound a little bit more cohesive, you feel me? So then from there, I added these ST strings. I put these way in the background though. Super smooth, man, super clean. So after putting down that string, I pulled up one of my favorite piano sounds from Xenology called Contemplate, and I plugged in my MIDI and I just played something in real, real smooth and real nice. It's all just about adding to the feeling, you know? You don't have to overthink it. Before I head into the last sound, I'm gonna show you guys what I always do in almost every single plug and plug in B beat. And that is add a counter melody that's very on the beat, very like syncopated, if that's the right word. And I just chose this log drum from uh, Triton and I just went for something real simple, you know? And once you do the drums, this melody right here is gonna give it a lot of contrast bounce with the drums, if that makes sense. I have no idea why my surge is so big, but for the lead, I use this butter sound. It's just real clean sounding. It's like a sign, I think. And then, you know, I just did some real 30 Nick sounding thing. I really just sing these melodies in my head, you know? Once you practice long enough, you can kind of just come up with these melodies in your head. And this is how the lead sounds. And then for the drums, we already got this beautiful melody, you know? We really don't need to go too crazy with the drums. We just want something simple and bouncy, you know? I got this plug hi-hat and a Zangang clap, and I'm just trying to put down something as simple and as clean and bouncy as possible. I didn't even change it up after the first two bars, man. It's just, you don't need to. If it sounds good, it sounds good. And we got this rim. Clean. Then I added this little like hi-hat thing just to give it some more bounce. Can't really hear it that well. And then before the 808 and the kick, I added like another snare and a little chant. Just to fill in that space, you know? And then we can move on to the sub and the kick. And while I usually prefer using 808s for these type of beats, I just put the kick in and it just sounded so good. So I just kept it, man. So we got this little Zangang sub, kind of classic plug sub, and then another classic kick. And then we could just put in a real simple bouncy pattern, making sure that the 808 is in key and that it's playing the root notes of all the chords. Get a little switch up over here. And then for the kick, I'm just following the exact same pattern as the 808, but I made sure to turn the kick up in the channel rack, all the velocities up, and then in the mixer all the way up too, just to make it really smack, you know? Here's how all the drums sound together. And 
and that's pretty much it do a little mixing and you got yourself the most beautiful plug and b beat you've ever heard here's how the full beat sounds Hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was a quick, simple, just a little breakdown of how I made that plug and BB. Expect a lot of new videos soon. I know I've been making video game type stuff, but I think I'm gonna move that type of stuff to a different channel and just keep this main channel for music related content. But yeah, if you wanna see that, I'll leave a link in the description. If you want any of my drum kits, I'll leave a link in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next one, man. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope this was helpful. Peace.